At the start of the season, a 37-year-old Neymar, sorry, 36-year-old Neymar, looked like he might be able to still tear up the Premier League. But with 24 starts, 7 goals and 2 assists, it's clear that this man is coming to the end of his career. And if you're complaining about the fact that I'm milking another intro with Neymar, don't worry. I don't think I'm going to get to do that much more because uh, he has absolutely zero interest in joining the club for another year. Hey guys, and welcome back to the 25th episode of the FM22 Salford in the Prem save with me, Raxel FM, where today we are versing West Ham and Manchester City. Said that terribly, but still the team that we're versing in two games in the Premier League season. As we are down in 14th place, comfortably away from the drop zone, but nowhere near European football. We call this a transitional season. You know, we've made a lot of very high quality signings, but... I don't think everyone's settled into the new tactic, into the new way of playing this game. And I'm hoping that next year we'll be able to actually push for those higher league positions. Because right now, it's, a, it's, it's not really happening, is it? If you guys are excited for that, please make sure you do smash the like button. As well, subscribing to the Rex or Fem YouTube channel. And can we please smash whatever like target you give me today. Let's go over what has happened since last time we saw each other. Some decent results. And then some not very good results. So, Carabao Cup, we talked about that. We've moved on. 2-1 win against Tottenham. Very good result there. Uh, one all draw against Liverpool. Unfortunate that we scored a winner in the 91st minute. And then they literally equalised straight afterwards. This Wolves game, I still don't know how we lost. I, I still don't know how we won I didn't win, actually. Because the XG, everything that happened... Yeah, we should we should have won that game. And this game against Burnley, Akingo got sent off. And as soon as that happened, I think we knew it was curtains for us. And it's, it, it, it's hard to recover from that. So now we're versing West Ham and Manchester City, hoping that we come away with some wins. Bouncing back. Not, not that it's going to affect our table position too much, but this is the team that we're going with for today's match. And I'm, get, I'm getting a phone call, but I think it's... I think it's it's yeah it's stopped now so i can refocus on this we've got neymar out of the starting lineup because he has not been scoring he has not been doing a lot for a very long time 6.1 6.4 6.7 he scored in that game but still with 6.7 rating he's not playing well overall and <clears throat> i kind of want to give other people a better game time so yeah is it yani yari is playing now on the left hand side gomez elliot and cam Martin, Douglas, Louise, Calderon, Boggle, Fagan, Wilcott, Fontan, Lopez, and Dawes, because unfortunately Toro is injured once again. So I'm thinking a new goalkeeper needs to be a signing that we're focusing on next year. But for now, we're jumping into this game. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to call this person back, but I, I, I can't. I, I, it's not going to be anything important. It's, it's, and and to be to be fair, I am in the middle of recall. I'm yeah, I'm going to call this person back. Yeah, no, it wasn't an important phone call. And now the, the first highlight's happening within the first two minutes of the game. It's, it's coming West Ham's way. This, nah, it's not working. Nothing about this tactic works. Nothing about it works. I don't quite understand why it doesn't work. I feel like we've got players that are good enough to make it work. But it, it just, it just doesn't work, does it? Maybe if we try and be slightly less pushy with the whole pushing thing but it looked like it was going to work for a really long time but I, I i've slowly lost faith in it and maybe playing with the cdm is always going to be the way to go we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens in the, in the rest of the game you know we could turn it around or they could score again i'd really hate to lose against west ham here at home this this feels like a game we should be able to win even up even with them up in seventh place us down and come on this is like really bad I, I know we haven't conceded again there but it's not going well for us early doors seven minutes gone and they've had two goal scoring opportunities in fact they've scored one and uh we're, we're just trying to find a way to get back into this game it's three shots to six. Oh my goodness we are not looking like a good football team at all they've moved up into fifth place okay that makes me feel slightly better but Still, their team doesn't scream out to me as top-of-the-top quality sort of team. You know, 
a lot of players that are already in the team, a couple of players that I don't really recognise. I don't see any reason why they should be a whole lot better than us. We need to be playing better. And uh, it might have to be a tactical change. But Calderon could get us back onto level terms here, really, with a very good save. And just before halftime, that would have been lovely. Gomez picking up an injury as well. Um, to be honest, not that gutted to see him having to come off, as he doesn't seem to do a lot for us. Not been the best signing, but Douglas Louise has clearly been a decent one, getting us back onto level terms just before the halftime break. And I think I'm going to have to change the, the formation because this... As, as, yeah, it's not working at all. So, let's go to the dressing room. Let's let's have a chat to them, but only after we make some tactical changes. Gomez coming off. Moller coming on. Moving back down to having a CDM, and we will chuck Calderon as the deep line playmaker. Boggle picking up an injury too. That wasn't there before, was it? Oh, well. Um, I don't know what to say. I would have said I wasn't happy with it. I'm still going to say I'm not... Mm, Oh, uh, we can win this game. Oh, see, I should have said I wasn't happy with it. I, I, I wanted to say I wasn't happy with it, but I just thought based off their league position in the table, maybe they'd get upset if I say that, but clearly I should have been harsh. I should have kept those high standards. I don't think it's mattering right now, as we look like we could be on the attack. Boggle, Calderon, in. Doesn't quite get it through, though, but we do still have the chance, and, and Douglas Louise has just scored his second goal of the game. From outside the box... This man is lethal. I don't remember him scoring too many this year, but th today he's turned it on. And it's after I've complained about this tactic not working and I've changed the formation. And within the space of... Because he scored in like the 47th minute. So it, it's, it's within the space of like four minutes, five minutes. He scored two goals. What a player. He looks like an absolute gem this season. And he could actually end up being a proper starter for us for the rest of the save. Lopez out on the left-hand side looking for another goal for us. Moller almost getting his noggin onto that. And Elliot now has the ball in midfield. Calderon, Boggle. We're definitely looking like a better side now. And I think I, sh I should just abandon the dream of using a cam and go back to just using a CDM because this is working so much better. Martin coming in on goal there. Can't quite finish his dinner, but at least we're creating those opportunities. Proper goal-scoring opportunities, not just... Outside of the box, lucky shots coming in from Douglas Louise. And now it could be another one. Oh, Martin, mate, you should have a double. That one definitely should have gone in. First one probably should have too. But the second one, mate, that, that, that's got a goal written all over it. They're coming back at us, though. We shouldn't be riding them off just yet. And I feel like I have. Justin putting it in against Doors, who hasn't been called upon in the second half as, well, according to what we've seen. Yeah, but this time... He certainly has been. We have to header it out. Vlasic picking it up. I feel like that's the end of the highlight coming. It's got to be the end of the highlight. Get it out. Someone clear it. Take the ball off them. Well, it, the, the highlight's over is the important thing. Martin looking tired on that right hand side. But I am going to bring him off. Neymar effect. Surely. It's got to be a real thing. He's, he's, he's a baller. He doesn't have the most amount of skill. The most amount of pace. The most amount of physical ability anymore. But it's still Neymar. Let's see what he can do as a super sub in this game. Can he get us another goal to confirm this win as we go into the last couple of minutes? If we concede now, it will be heartbreaking. Because we've done a good job to claw our way back. Boggle going to be our last substitute coming off as well. And uh, Lomax coming on. Three minutes of additional time. Let's hold on to it. I don't know if I wanted to see a highlight. Actually, I know I didn't want to see a highlight. And it's them running at us. Playing it back into Declan Rice, who is probably one of their best players. Probably one of the better players in the world now. Chong's through on goal. Chip the goalkeeper. And that is why I get frustrated with this game just about every time I play it. Oh, for goodness sake. We've played well. We've done everything right in the second half. Not Definitely not in the first half. And now we have fallen. And uh, it's, 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 it's a draw. It's a better result than it looked like it was going to be at one point. But it's still a draw. And now we need to verse Manchester City away from home. One of the hardest games of the season. <sighs> I mean, it, it could help decide the title. So at least if we lose, we're, we're, we're helping them go back into first place. But ideally, we get at least a point. Okay, if we, if we can draw against West Ham, that, that's a message to me that we can be competitive. 
a hint. No, that's not how it works at all. This is the team that we're going with. Neymar is starting. Moller's up top. Martin Silva, Douglas Luiz, Calderon, Lomax, Fagan Walcott, Fontan, uh, Lopez, and Doors. Actually, I need to chuck him on defend duty there. Otherwise, he has a big fit about me not playing him in his preferred position. Actually, no. Sesson Young, you're starting, mate. And we'll chuck him as a supporting. We have no good left backs now. Sesson Young was good for a period and uh, is now bad. And I'm definitely selling him before he gets to that 50 goals. Uh, sorry, not 50 goals. 50 games played because he is... um He's pretty average. Lopez is pretty average too. And he's meant to be one of the best wonder kids in the world right now. Let's jump into this game. That's, that's enough left back talk. Man City. Obviously a lot of changes have been made. Tactical changes as well. Um, but I think that the personnel that we've got out there will hopefully give us the best, best chance of creating an upset today. Moller up top, he looks like he is a better player than I think I give him credit for. I think I signed Gomez and I was just like, yeah, 18-year-old striker. Obviously I'm going to start him, but realistically I probably should have started Moller because he started the season incredibly well. I stunted that form by giving him so much time off. And now uh, he's just a very average striker. So if I can get him back scoring... Maybe, just maybe, he'll be a world-class player. And it could happen right here, right now. As Martin whips a ball in. Moller's... Oh, I thought that, <laughs> thought that there was no offside going on there. But I think Neymar must have been in an offside position. But that's a good early sign that we can create some sort of attacking opportunity. And you know what? We could be creating another one here. Martin, Douglas Louise, Calderon. I mean, all of the stats suggest that Manchester City is all over us. But the chances that we're seeing right now look like we're not a half-bad side either. Silva, looking for some space, goes for the shot. I knew he was going to. And it is, yeah, it's never going to really trouble the goalkeeper. And once again, we have a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back highlight. It is Pedro Porro playing it up to Bowen. Okay, I did not expect Bowen to be playing for Man City, but uh, it, it's an alternative reality where we're getting all the attacking opportunities. Okay, I said that far too quickly because it is then back on the ball and they're knocking it around with a bit of confidence now and I think this could be their first chance unless they boot it and we win the knockdown. We've won the knockdown. Is this another one of our chances? No, Moller's giving it away. This is definitely... No, it's our chance. Martin, Silvers, throw on goal. Can he get the finish? He can. <laughs> Somehow, we are 1-0 up against Manchester City. I think those three highlights have been our only chances in the entire game. And I just feel like a tactical genius for bringing Silver on for this game. Martin's put a beautiful, a beautiful ball through to him. He's taken a touch and he's put it into the top corner. And we are somehow, it literally is all of the chances that we've just seen. Somehow, we are 1-0 up. And it could be 2-0 if Fagan Walcott headed that into the back of the net. But for a first half performance, I don't think we can complain. I don't think we can ask for much more than this. Manchester City have got to be fuming with this current point in time situation that is going on with them. Because if they lose this game, they are not going to stay top of the table. And if they uh, don't stay top of the table at this point in the season, then I don't know if they're going to be winning the title. Calderon looking for a pass, finds Moller, back into Douglas Weiss, Silva to get the double. Oh, that was cheek. It was cheeky. It was delicate, but didn't quite have enough juice on it. And I, I still respect it. Ruben Diaz coming around, making the defensive scrap off the line, and he's managed to stop it from going into the back of the net. Javi Simmons is coming on for the last thirty minutes of this game as a Douglas Louise. Not having quite the same game that he did last time, but you know what? Actually, not playing terribly. And now there's only twenty-two minutes to go in this one. And they have a chance. Hit it away. Fagan Walcott. You, you can always rely on him. Let's hope that we can rely on him once again. Actually, we don't even have to rely on him. Because our team is so good that we are once again going to attack Manchester City. Silva, Moller, Simmons. Looks for space. Finds a space. Shoots it. That should be a very comfortable save for Edison. And, and, and it is, to be fair. And now I'm thinking, who can I bring off to keep this lead in our favour? I think that the highlight might still be going on. I have paused it. I don't want Adamson on because the defense seems to be doing a decent job. Ah, go. Okay, so um, long story short, you know, videos cut up here. Well, no, the video hasn't clearly because it's, it's still it's still happening. But the, the audio, see, my cord. I think I think the cat's bitten it a bit, and um, and yeah, so the cord 
It, it reconnects in a bit, but but for now it's it's not connected. So it's a one nil to us. It's looking good right now, and this this wee chunk's gonna be pre-commentated. And right now we're on the ball. Adamson into Seton Young. Silver. Oh, oh Muller. Martin scores the goal. And he looks onside to me. I actually can't remember because it's been that long since I recorded this. I think it gets given as onside because he looked onside to me. We're checking it. And is awarded. Get in. 2-0 against Man City. It feels a bit weird celebrating even though I know what happens at the end of this game. Oh, that, okay. That's not really a spoiler. That's just me saying, like, it feels weird celebrating, even though I know what happens at the end of this game. But it, this is what's happening right now. We're, we're making a tactical substitution while the highlight's happening. I've, I've, I've changed my... I've paused the game. Bagiolo's come on, and, and they're attacking us. But, but Doors picks it up. Who's actually doing a decent job today? I mean, any, any player that's, like, what, 21 versus Man City, keeping a clean sheet after this amount of minutes, it can't, it can't be that bad, realistically. They are still coming at us though, and it is slightly frightening as they play it all the way back to the goalkeeper. And as you know, if you've been on the channel for a while, playing it back to the goalkeeper and football manager, it means they're going to score. Again, I can't remember if they do score, but this is certainly looking like a decent attack. Bowen takes it past the goalkeeper, but shoots from a very difficult angle, and luckily it doesn't go in. But once again, a highlight coming, and it could be coming their way, but the tippy field was still on the ball. Not, not, not if you're doing that, Neymar. Okay, very, very handy, mate. Uh, Phil Foden into. I don't. I can't. I've got it on my mini editing screen. Can't really read. I think it was Saka. They have some incredible players here, though. Laporte, Saka, Foden. Like they, they should have an insane team right now, and we are currently beating them two 0 with with a couple of minutes to go. You know, we're a good team at this point in time. However, Adeyemi, he's a pretty good player, and that's proven there by them scoring. But a nervy last couple of minutes now, 12 minutes to go, and obviously I know what's going to happen in this game, and I think in a couple of seconds I'm going to realise that my recording's not working because there's a wee light on top of my, my microphone, see so Foden takes a shot, Doors collects it, and, I, and I give it a sec, because yeah, there we go, I've paused it, I've realised, now I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going on, I'm trying to fiddle with the cord, and it actually turns out I need to pull the cord up to, to, to make it work, I don't, don't, don't ask me why, but that's just... What I need to do, and I, I, I eventually sort it out. It's still being sorted. Um, I think I thought I sorted it, and now I think I thought I didn't sort it. So there's this wee period in the middle. But, but I'm back. Oh, how long has my microphone not been recording? Oh no, I'll, I'll need to check it afterwards. But boys and girls, we're winning two 0 against Man City, and I really hope it is. It has not been. Re it's it's that my cord. My cord connecting to my, to my microphone, it's not, it's not in good shape. It's not in good shape. I just noticed the light wasn't on. And it, it, it's 2-1. It's 2-1 with a couple of minutes to go. Okay, I hope that you saw at least the first two goals. I'm sure you didn't see Manchester City equalise. But I, I really hope you saw, saw our score. If not, I might, I might pre-record. I might not pre-record. But right now I'm focusing on Moller scoring. Is he onside? If he's onside, this has got to be game seven match. Oh, he did look slightly offside. He just did look slightly offside, to be fair. He's, he's quite a fair bit offside. Four minutes to go, though. Come on. Let's See, it's cut out again here for a couple of seconds. But, you know, the clock's just winding down. You know, a couple of seconds to go. And, okay, so my microphone's just disconnected about five times during that game. I'm going to have to look back at it. But, I, it's, it's, we won. I just... I'm I'm fuming that the microphone hasn't hasn't been consistent. Um, we just beat Man City though. Okay, so you know, ignore the microphone, ignore the fact that my cord and my microphone slightly broken. We focus on the fact that we just beat Man City two one, one all draw against uh, West Ham. Overall, a successful episode, and uh, I think that the rule of thumb here is uh, is Rex only needs to get. A new microphone cord. So we're currently up in 11th position after those results. A very good episode. Will it be enough to help us move into upper mid top half? You know what I'm trying to say here? Well, we'll have to find out in tomorrow's episode, which will be the season finale. I really hope some of this footage is, is salvageable. If not, I might, I might just have to. Oh, pre recording. If, the, if I have done pre recording. I hope it wasn't half bad, but we'll see you tomorrow or whenever I feel like uploading.
Crystal Palace, Everton, season finale. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I'll see you all. Like and subscribe. I'll see you all later.